Well, they'll need a family man and have it. This patient is dying. Cancer cells have spread throughout her body, and no treatment or therapy can help her. X-rays, chemotherapy, surgery, all are useless. She understands that she is dying and has asked to have her life ended. The attending physician has agreed to kill this patient at her own request. The possibility is that I will straight with you. I don't know if you can help me. I will stay here. The patient's family has agreed to the termination and are saying their last goodbyes to the patient. Who is with the patient? Is she prepared? She is ready for you. The syringe you see being used contains the sedative sodium pentothal. This injection will put the patient into a deep sleep. The patient is now asleep. The doctor is picking up a second syringe which contains the drug Curare. In a few minutes, this drug will paralyze the patient's heart and lung muscles. The action will be certain and final. Yeah, she's crying. The scene you've just viewed illustrates graphically how certain lives are being terminated in Holland. Although the lethal injection is still not legal, the authorities are permissive. Incidents like this are a portal through which a phenomenon is entering the contemporary Western world, active euthanasia. In times past, a mortally ill person simply died. But with today's dramatic advancements in medical science, it is possible to keep people alive who, although they will never recover, would in days gone by have simply died. People are also living longer, and there are many more cases of protracted terminal illness. As a consequence, man is now having to answer questions of life and death that have never been asked before in the context of the Western Hippocratic tradition. At this juncture in the 20th century, there is no way in which we can simply let these questions take care of themselves. They need to be accosted and answered, but who has the answers? This is the Warthos Forum, and we approve this message. <laughs>